What's everybody? It's your boy Marsman here. And today, me and the rest of the Marsman crew are reviewing episode eight of the Last of Us TV series on HBO. And guys, this was a pretty badass episode, to just say the least. But to be honest, we what we always do here for every single week is we have the first half of the episode going to be a non-spoiler review so that for anyone who has not seen the episode and does not want to be kind of spoiled on what happens, you can watch it there. And the second half is going to be our spoiler discussion on the, all the major plot points of the episode and we give our general thoughts about how we feel. So we're let's just start off with the kind of non-spoiler discussion where we discuss our impressions. And I'll start first, honestly. I think that this is probably one of the better episodes of the series so far i think honestly it's it's up there with probably one of my favorites and it was it was like that for a multitude of reasons i think they had good dialogue and even though most of the episode is not as much about joel it's mainly an ellie episode but at the end of the day like if you've played the games you know that this that this episode would have if you played the games you knew that this was going to be an ellie main episode but if you didn't play the games like that is kind of the only thing that just to make sure of but the key, the key aspect of this, I thought, was the dialogue was really good. The tenseness of the episode was was very good. I think even though there there really wasn't any infected at all overall in the entire episode, but I thought generally, even with that being the case, the conflict, the suspense, the action, I thought everything was kind of hitting on par with what people want to see with Last of Us, and. I thought they did a good job, and I think I think Bella Ramsey is kind of running away with kind of the star of the show, in my opinion. I think I, obviously you know, Pablo Pascal is is fantastic, but I think Bella Ramsey's Pedro. been Pedro. Yeah, Pedro. Yeah, pa I was like, Pablo. <laughs> Pablo from Halo. Pablo's his long lost cousin. I yeah, think. Pablo, Pablo's from the <laughs> Halo show. That's why. Uh, hey, <laughs> Pedro Pascal has been killing it. I mean, but I think Bella Ramsey surprised me the most like i know pedro was was great from the mandalorian and i was like yeah you know what? i think he was gonna do a great job i honestly wish he was the halo he, i wish he was master chief honestly um the way he acts as, a, as just a stoic character but bella ramsey was the biggest surprise for me this entire time and she's been she, this episode i think she really showed what she like how impressive she was as ellie and uh, i kind of wanted to get you guys opinions about this in this episode and I'll start with hockey first, since you're the the guy who has never played the games and are getting this for the first time. What was your impressions about what you saw? Yeah, so this was a uh, top tier episode for me. Uh, we'll get to our ratings in, in a little bit, but uh, this one definitely is up there. You can see the character development of Ellie. Like you said, this is a very Ellie-centric uh, episode. So you really got to see uh, kind of how she is turning a little bit um, and kind of where her mind is because of everything that's going on. But you also see a little bit of, uh, of Joel. And although you know he's a savage, this episode you really get into kind of seeing him be a, a savage. So all in all, I think the episode was very good. Like I said, it's a top tier episode. Um, and even though there wasn't an infected, not one, I still think uh, they pulled it off with the story. Um, and like you said, the suspense and a little bit of weirdness from David, but uh, I think it all came together very good. Yeah. And uh, Angelica, what'd you think overall? Yeah, I agree with you guys. I think Bella Ramsey is, she's leveling up. I mean, We've kind of seen glimpses of it all season long, but this was a real, she went super Saiyan or she evolved and, and really kind of became the star uh, in this episode. Um, really great performance by her. She really encapsulated uh, Ellie um, in the, in this show so far. And the scenery guys, the, the scenery and, and the di dialogue and acting has just been really good. And I do agree with you guys about the infected, which to me, um, we'll get into the ratings and why I rate this episode where I do. But this is a top tier episode um, with some minor mistakes, um, but I will leave it at that. But overall, really strong performances, really good conflict um, and dark. This is not for the week of heart episode. I know this episode could, if you don't know what's coming, can make you uncomfortable at times. Um, and there's reason for it. So really strong episode, but not for the week of heart. Yeah, with that being said, let's jump right to our ratings, and I'll start with it off. I think the the big thing I noticed right away was that when you look at this episode, they give you kind of a mix of a lot of different things. I think the dialogue was on point. They gave you some good character development, of obviously, of Ellie, of Joel, of these new characters that we haven't seen before about who, who they are and the background. And, and what the key thing is, is that even someone who's played the games 
and beaten all, both games. I think that they did more context to a situation that that the games didn't necessarily go into as much because it's more of a, a story centric on the two main characters. Now, what they did in this this episode was they gave more context to characters who were brand new, as well as continue the context of what I liked. And the conflict was was exactly the way it was in the games. Like if you watch a side by side take from the games to the episode, they're very similar. There are some things that are different, but I thought the, the all the actors they picked for different roles were were pretty spot on. I thought. Uh, I can't get the name of, of the character who plays David, but I think uh, Scott Shepard. I think Scott Shepard. Yeah, he did a great he did a great job as David. He very similar to the creepiness that David was in the games. Uh, obviously, Ellie has been. I mean, Bella Ramsey's been just been killing it. Um, you know, Pedro Pascal has been doing well, and uh, obviously the uh, you know having James uh, be way was he was even though he was like a kind of a guard. Um, that's exactly what the way he was in in the the game too, like the same character, relatively the same character. So I thought they did a good job. But oh, and overall, I think if I was going to give it a rating, I'd honestly give this a nine. I think this is probably my highest rated episode of my official tiers. I think five. You had a nine too. So is it tied with five? This is no. I, I didn't have a nine nine. I have an eight point eight. I think for that one. That's why I think this was. I could be wrong, but I thought I gave it an eight point no, no, eight. I think the first episode you gave it. Uh... Well, then I probably put on par with that one, to be honest, yeah. if, if anything, because I think me, my opinion, both episodes, if I was going to look at both of them, episode one and this one, they were close to the games that what I really like to see because the game story was just so good. And the minor adjustments they made only elevated the situation. And I think that's why my, I, I have consistency when it comes to that, because at the end of the day, like giving more context to the group. I, to the, I don't want to say any names because I like to call them something. Um, but this group, um, they it gives more insight on the people, right? It gives them well, how desperate they are and and what might what leads to certain things to happen, right? And I think that's what gives really me that that feeling of they did a great job with this episode. So I'll give it a nine in my opinion. I think yeah, there's some things you can obviously fix. It's not a perfect episode, but it's the best one in my opinion, or tied with the best one overall. Uh, and I'll jump to Langella Kill next. What's your rating? Yeah, the only reason I ask that is because I'm kind of some of this is tied for my best. This is a 9.5 for me, which I gave episode five as well. And this could have been the best episode of the series, but it got hurt because of uh, a part between, and I'm going to just say the character's name, but not dive into it, David and Ellie in the beginning. Um, I think the change they made from the game uh, to this, although it was solid, I think the game did a better job of it. And I, uh, that would have involved what we both talked about in our impressions, which is the infected. Um, if the infected were included, not at the same level they did in the games, but reduced numbers like they've done throughout the show, but there was a great opportunity to include them at that part. This would have been the best episode of the series, but it is tied for my favorite. Again, the scenery, the acting has just been top notch. And like you mentioned, outside of that, they have taken some dialogue directly from the game and incorporated that in those same scenes um which was really great because in the games they were great and so why change it right so they did a really good job with that but i do knock it about a 0.1.2 off could have been a 9.7 this could have been an elite episode at like top tier uh elite television but i do think that change in the beginning hurt it a little bit for me yeah so uh hockey what do you think man what was your overall rating yeah, so this one, I have it at an 8-9, so a little bit lower than your guys. It's going to come from the fact that, um, like you guys had mentioned, it didn't have any infected at all. Um, I understand the story isn't only about uh, the infected. You know, it's really about Joel and Ellie and, and kind of their bond throughout the entire, um, you know, story in, in general. But I would have liked to see a little bit of conflict with the infected. Now, Langelico had said this episode brings a little bit of darkness which it definitely does, um, but it's a little bit different than the episode five darkness with um, Sam and Henry. You know, that was like a sad, really messed up darkness. This was like a darkness from um, like a necessary evil uh, on Ellie's part that she did not, you know, I don't want to get into the spoilers, but, you know, didn't have um, the things that she's had before to help her. So she kind of had to do everything by herself. So Again, I think in general, it was a great episode. This is ranks fourth on my list. I have uh, episode five first, uh, then 
uh, one and two follow after that. And then this one is definitely a top tier episode, in my opinion. Could have been a little bit better. Just give me a little bit more uh, conflict with the infected. And like you guys said, it could have bumped it up a, a point or two for me. Yeah, well, that's going to be it with our non-spoiler review. And obviously, what do you think about the episode? And please place what you think in the comments below. Obviously, if you haven't done so yet, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Join us on Twitch where we stream around two to three days a week. You can find that in the description below. And join us on all of our socials also located in the description below. We are now going to move into our spoiler discussion. So stick around if you want to see that. But now onto the spoilers. Well, guys, we this is the spoiler review or spoiler discussion on The Last of Us. And I think, and I mentioned this in the in the non-spoiler section, this is probably tied with my favorite episode overall, mainly because of the dialogue and the conflict that is there. And I do agree that there are some missing pieces. I think with more infected, this would have been the best episode easily. Not even the debate. I think that's the one thing that I feel like a lot of the show is missing is the infected aspect. There's obviously conflict with people. It's like, but there's also that 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 secondary conflict with infected, where it's the show is kind of limiting because of whether it's for funding or if it's just they didn't want it to feel like a Walking Dead. But at the end of the day, like even even with that being the case, like the last ones never gate came off to me as a Walking Dead game. You know what I mean? Like they never once were like, yeah. oh my god, there's so many there's, hordes of zombies there's, all over. There's the like, like there's like two extremes, right? There's the Walking Dead zombies, which are just hordes and hordes of just mindless guys like roaming around. And then The Last of Us is kind of like gone the opposite, where it's like when the infected come, it's a great experience, but they're seldom in that experience. So yeah. it's like, could we have found a better middle ground? And I think that's going to at the end of the day, when we talk about the end of the show, I feel like that that does hurt it a little bit. Yeah, I feel like that's always something that you can always but add they look into. so good. Every time yeah. they come up, they Very look good. so good. It's just that and the thing man, is that they never more. they never make the they never make the infected like just unbeatable either. It's not like we're talking about like World War Z zombies here. Like, no, these, yeah. these are these these are straight up like they they do them well. Like the only ones that were really ever that strong were the um well the the bloaters. But at the end of the day, like I thought the show did a good job with the types of and the people they had. Like everything was going well. Like, I'm not saying just me. I'm never I'm ragging on the show for not having as many infected, but. That is the one thing I will say that is definitely different than what I wanted to see overall. But let's just jump right to the episode. So this is obviously continuing from what we saw last time. Obviously, the fact that but the, the way they started this was definitely different. And I like I said, this is kind of giving context to a situation where we see this brand new group and essentially they're reading uh, the reading a verse from the Bible. Uh, it was seems like afterward you find out that it was because there was a uh, a person who had died recently, and they're kind of saying a prayer for them, and, uh, and and basically, you know, the the girl, the daughter asks, "Hey, will I be able to bury my father?" And the the man, like who who is this, you, you can kind of tell as the leader here, basically says, uh, "You know, it's too cold, um, and we won't be able to bury him for right now." And and it was kind of like you could tell that there was something there's something up. Because he kind of like when she says that, he like looks over to like one of the guards, like, oh, it's too cold. Like after he says, oh, it's too cold. We can't do that right now. And like looks over at the guy. There's a mad weird vibe. In yeah, the there's air. a weird vibe right away. And you're like, okay. Like, I mean, for people who play the game, you know right away, yeah, like yeah. what they're referencing. We're like, oh, all right. I guess that's what they're doing. I guess that part's there. It made um, sense though. It made a little sense. The cold could the ground could be too cold, you know. But no, yeah, but, yeah, but once over, he once he did that here. like look over, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. And I like me and Jill Kill knew like yeah. what to expect going into this. Like we knew that's why like I'm I'm looking forward to hearing from uh from my my girlfriend's uh, brother because he never played the games and he probably. Because he was all like, "Oh, you, so, it was such yeah, a good I mean, episode." Did you think that it was just too cold? Is that what? Did you buy it? So it like it made sense, but that look over to to his buddy yeah. gave a weird like vibe because his buddy yeah. like, looked down and like kind of you know felt weird about it, you know. So yeah, it yeah. made sense, you know. Ground's cold; they don't have you know excavators or anything. They're just using shovels, but you know, uh, that, that weird look over was. But this is this is where the, the the where I knew automatically what the look over was for was I knew that part, but. But then when he said like, "Oh, we're we're kind of low on food right now. Um, we got only like a few days left. To, you know, we got, and then a he talks to like, maybe two. Yeah, yeah and he said to the guy, two. we got like maybe a week or two left of food. I was like, okay, this, so they're now they're, they're carving people up. Um, that's literally what they're doing. Um, but yeah, so I already knew, but that was like, oh, okay, I guess that's their way of going about it. But then it transitions to where the game takes place, where Joel is really struggling and his wound is infected, and so 
Ellie realizes, like, okay, I need to go out and get us food because we, if we're eating literally scraps. I don't even know what they're eating. I think it's venison, but you can't even it's tell. Like it's, it, it, it looks like, it, look, it literally looked like eating cornflakes. Like it looked like eating cornflakes. I was just like, Yo, what are you doing right now? Frosted so, flakes. Yeah, eating from some midi wheat cereal. But um, so basically, she goes out hunting. She takes his rifle. The only diff one difference thing that I noticed was that she didn't have a rifle in the game, it was a bow and yeah, arrow. Right. Cause that's yeah. like her weapon in the, in the you know future games is like a bow. That's like her third thing is the bow and she's arrow. Straight legless and, she's uh, straight up legless in the game. So like, that's why I was like, Oh, okay. I, I, I forgot that that's what it was. It was like the yeah. bow and arrow was like the little thing I noted. I remember there was something off when I was watching that part, but yeah, that was the bow and arrow because a part of me was like, she wasn't trying to, in the game, she wasn't trying to show everybody their position. So by shooting a rifle, you kind of let everyone know that you're in the area. You know what I mean? So, so whatever. At that point, that doesn't matter to that point. Ellie ends up hunting down this deer. Um, at, at the same time, David and, and James are like, "Hey, we got to go find food. Let's go. Find, let's go hunt uh, for some venison. So hopefully, we can try to feed everybody, and I don't have to chop up everybody in this place." It doesn't say that, but I'm just thinking to myself, like <laughs> that's the reason why. So they go out, and uh, Ellie shoots the deer, and then they stumble upon David and James are basically there. While she's there, and and they didn't they didn't see her right away. Ellie catches them off guard and basically points the gun at them and kind of says, "Hey, you know, uh, we I need you know you you can have half the deer for medicine because they're like, hey, why don't you come back with us, whatever." And she's she's smart enough to realize like that's that's not that's not a good look. Like, and she tries to tell them, "Oh, I come with the whole community." Um, this is also different in the game. The game is like doesn't say any of that stuff. They just tries to make the conversation short, and she's just like, "No, I'm from a computer. I have my own community. I need." food, whatever, but she negotiates medicine. And so it's her and David sitting by uh, basically a camp, a little campfire that's going on so that they can try to stay warm. And uh, they, this is where they, this is a good conversation. This is exactly kind of like what happens in the game. The only difference is, is that in the game, you, you get stumbled upon some infected, you and David have to then fight off infected together. And you kind of build that like a friendship kind of between each other to, to kind of establish that, like that connected feeling um but you find out like in this conversation that david tells a story saying hey you know i think everything happens for a reason right and there's this whole conversation and he's saying well there's a girl that has lost her father in our in our encampment and basically we sent a few people out to go raid a local town to find resources because we're starving to death and you know there only three people came back and one of them was killed by a crazy man and uh and a girl and Right when you say that, you're like, oh, I, I remember when I was watching that. I was like, I forgot about this part. Yeah. And I was like, oh, crap. And Ellie re realizes right away, like, uh, and then he's like, uh, James, you can put down the gun. And then he turned around and James already has the gun like on her. And you're like, ah, oh, crap. I remember this part from the game. And obviously, like, that whole thing is that, like, it shows you, like, like, you know, th this is, like, the issue. is like, he, you, when you, um, when you play in the game and you start developing like oh this david guy is pretty cool and then you find out like in an instant that this you killed a member of his group or in the game kill many people of his group and he's kind of like you know they have a vendetta against you and jo mainly joel and you right and so there's some bad blood ellie was able to somehow get out of this situation able to you know because they're basically pointing guns at each other david's like yeah you know what just, just they, let her they, go. They, they yeah, let her, her go. Medicine, let Give her, her the medicine. Let her go. Ellie it gets out of there, and then, and then obviously the whole she goes back. To Joel yeah. With, can I? Can I just? Yeah. Butt in real quick on this thing, and this is where I knocked the episode where I think it could have been the best episode. In a game, they fight about like thirty infected. So, like, I'm not expecting a horde of infection that Ellie and David have to fight off, like in the video game. But two or three. You know what I mean? Like, and David has a secret gun, even though Ellie disarmed them. What I liked is if David had a gun cocked, a handgun, and he helps Ellie fight off the infected, mm -hmm. it kind of builds that trust, like you mentioned, that, hey, you know, I could have pulled my gun and shot you at any yeah. point. Yeah. And that's where, like, that, I know what they were trying to do. They were trying to build the trust with, oh, give her the mess and let her go. And, like, that's the trust build that that they were trying to do. But man, if you could have done that, I'm not asking for a lot of effect, but that's the opportunity that it could have come. The rest of the episode, there was an opportunity. This was the moment that it could have happened. And I felt the game just did it slightly better. It's not a huge knock, 
but it did slightly better. Yeah, I mean, the thing that it, that's where I kind of say sticking to the game sometimes, like if it's a good storytelling, like just stick to it because they they, they, they did a great job already from this this mission in the game. Yeah. So by you sticking to it, it's only going to help the people really get attached to it. Now, granted, whatever you change up a few things. It's not the biggest deal, but I do agree with you. Like I think that I sometimes think that's a slight knock. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta it would have been my favorite. I think yeah. it would have it would have cleared the ball. Sometimes you just gotta stick with what, what was given to you. Don't don't have to stray to really much. You could just stick to it, you're fine. Not yeah. even like a lot of like you said, not a lot of effect that you need, just a few. Two or three. Just to give us just to give us that like, oh, they work together to you know, yeah. because because to keep going, essentially once once Ellie takes the medicine back to Joel. Basically, uh, and David and James go back to their encampment. The daughter, Hannah, basically yells for David to kill Ellie and Joel, and David just backhands her. Like, you know, you very, know don't very, ever, biblical. very pimp, pimp smack that, that was the Old Testament right there. Yeah, you like, know? Uh, you know, I'm your dad now. I'm your dad now. That type of, type of saying. And then he's like, you got to respect your dad, or whatever. And, and basically and says, like, I'll okay. take, yeah, like, okay, he's got some, he's got some wild wild boy in him um but yeah so he basically says like oh i'll take the people we'll go and we'll, we'll go the get them in the morning and then he gets a big plate and everyone yeah. gets these little bowls yeah everyone's yeah. got these tiny ass bowls and david's got, <laughs> got a that big, bowl, big, big plate, old plate. <laughs> um, <laughs> um and basically like they you know they they start to eat whatever um and uh you know once then they go then obviously the day ends with joel like, with ellie who would give the medicine to joel and and she kind of like bundles up next to him, kind of like, you know, a daughter and father. Right. And so yeah. the next morning, obviously, they send a, a party out to go hunt down Ellie and Joel. And Ellie now has to do this. You know, she tells Joel, listen, I'm going to try to get these people away from us. But if someone comes, you got to defend yourself. Like, you got to wake up and defend yourself. So she starts getting away. Uh, basically, she starts riding on the horse. Just like what happens in the in the game, James or one of the guards shoots the horse. Ellie flies off, and in the game she falls down a bunch of like mountainsides and stuff, and lands like, <laughs> like oh jeez, like she she gets knocked out cold basically um, from the game, and and then they they abduct her. Well, yeah, a little more realistic in this yeah. one. It, what happens <laughs> is in the game, and the, and this is where the only this is also also another difference, which I was a little like, I was watching it, I was like okay, but so in the game they don't they go far enough away from the encampment that um that most of the people are gone with Ellie, right? And there's only a few people left to keep searching the area. And later on, like hours later, does Joel really get up from sleep? He's passed out because he's still, in fact, he's still hurting. He gets up later on when he's starting to feel better. And that's where he captures two guards and he interrogates him and everything. But that was like the only thing, as I think I said it to, to Angelica, I was like, he has like a major infection. And he literally, like, maybe, like, an hour, or maybe a few hours, he's just like, oh. Like, I'm, well, he I'm got two to, doses. I'm he got one Super at night, mode. one in the morning. Like, they gave him the Sensu Bean. They gave him the Sensu Bean to drive home. 56 years old, dude. He's just too infected. But, like, oh, I'm good, I will now. push back. This is what I will push back and why it doesn't bother me as much is because during the actual episode when Joe gets up, he does look shot. Like, so he's he bodied two guys. He bodied three dudes. Well, he didn't. No, no. He, he Four had guys, two, I think. He, no, it was three, and he had to silent one, and then the other one he had to bait the other guy where he bashed him in the face with the thing, right? And then like it wasn't he didn't go ramble like he does in the game where he kills a whole town of people. Dude, where, but like, like damn dog, he's like he's but he's like it didn't bother me that much because they did have him like he's limping around, he's looks shot, dude, so it wasn't these, like these guards was, are booty, bro. They they I don't even know what they, they why'd you bring these guys with you, David. These guys don't know what the uh, hell they're doing. They obviously don't have great. <laughs> they don't have great nutrition. That's all no. Yeah, they're, they're not getting fed. People. <laughs> they're not getting fed. <laughs> they're eating people. Yeah. They're, so, so basically, this is where the part. This is where it gets weird because Ellie gets gets put in the prison cell, just like the game. This scene that happens is identical. So, imagine playing, you know, playing the game, and you know, David's talking to Ellie, like trying to feed her or whatever, and Ellie, Ellie's obviously clapping back talking trash to him and and then all of a sudden david does that thing where he's like listen everyone wants to kill you and i want to protect you and i want to keep you alive because we're similar we're the same you know like we're both leaders and i see i feel like we can lead this community into the brighter future and kind of like and then he puts his hand on the thing and then she puts her hand like near not like necessary on his hand but kind of like 
kind of like he's trying to show like he's easing up to him. And then he puts his hand on hers and you're like, okay. Um, no, you're one of those. Yeah, you're one of those yeah, guys. One of those. And then like, so he not only was he a teacher, but then he was a preacher. And, you know, so he's a pedophile. That's like, that should be the next word that said yeah, afterwards. Like teacher, preacher, pedo. Yeah, yeah like teacher, band, preacher, like pedo. Like, yeah, like that, yeah. like from that I forgot transition. even the part before where she was trying to break out. I mean, there's the interrogation before this, but when she was trying to break down, she saw what was on the ground. Well, that's, yeah, that's, I mean, <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, like, they straight up sees the straight up ear just chilling <laughs> on the floor. Like, you guys didn't clean any of this stuff up, yeah, right? You guys gotta clean left up one ear, left one big old ear sitting <laughs> on the floor. Alex um, ear. This what, what giant. Ear good, man. Just cook that ear up. Straight up <laughs> ear. Straight up ear on the floor. Yeah. And, and that, the only thing is, is that when, like, that was, you see that, you're like, yo, this, this, that, this is crazy. Like, they're straight up eating people. Um, the only thing that I felt was different, I mean, the Joe Kill talked about this like off off camera, but in the game, they made it seem like everybody they've been doing this for a while. Like this is not just some brand new thing. Like this has been in there for a while, and in this episode, kind of made it seem like it just started happening where they were cannibalizing and eating people. Right? I think that was the only thing I was a little like, you know, I I understand the whole like, oh, recently they were in debt so desperate that they need to start eating meat. But like, I feel like they, I don't know. It, it, I don't think it's a big deal, but I was like, they, they could have just made it where like, that's how they survived so long with, with, cause remember it's been, it's been what, a what, 10, 20 years since yeah, the infection it, it, started. See, I, I don't even know. Cause it's not very clear. Right. Cause he only says a few of them knew that yeah. they were doing it. And obviously later on when Joel comes into the shed, they had three bodies hanging. Yeah. Um, so they had to been doing it for, like they didn't oh, just no. cook up Alec. Like Alec wasn't the first man that they, so they obviously had multiple bodies hanging. So to me, like, I, I know what you're saying, but it wasn't very clear. So it's hard to tell how but long Here's the only thing. Like, you know, so let's just say that's, that's true. Like, you know, they use the excuse of, well, we can't bury Alec because it's cold. It's the winter. Yeah. But like, you're like, then why couldn't you, you know, like what's the, what was the argument then for these other bodies? You know what I mean? Like, if it was if it was more like recently that they all those bodies were there chilling in the freezer, well, maybe, it could have been the first time they eat their own. Maybe they were eating other people. I don't know. I mean, maybe. I mean, it's possible. Yeah. But my only yeah. thing is, like in the game, it was kind of more just like, yeah, I mean, we just we just eat people. I mean, <laughs> yeah. like, like, oh, yeah. all right. Well, I guess that happens. But this scene kind of gets obviously Ellie just claps back, breaks his like basically breaks his finger, yeah. and you know the same is identical. Like this part was identical yeah. to the game where like. You know, well, he, she said my name. She said her name, her name like Ellie, and he's like, Love "What?" He's like, "Yeah, tell uh, tell them tell that uh, yeah. tell them <laughs> Ellie that Ellie broke your finger." <laughs> and then he's just like, "Oh, what did you say? Little pieces is how you put it?" Okay, yeah, I'll That's make sure. Exactly game, right, yeah. and then it was identical. So then they're about to chop Ellie up, and she's like, "Oh, I'm infected, and now you're infected because he she bit him before they put her on they put him on the table, and the and they're like, James is like, "Oh God, David, you're screwed." And he's like, nah, 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 there's no, she's bold. She's, she's lying. Yeah, she and then Ellie trying. just grabs the, the cleaver <laughs> and just slams it on the, and James. On Troy Baker. Just, right on Troy the Baker neck. right in the, right in the neck. <laughs> Identical to the game. That's literally yeah. exactly what happens. And then, you know, obviously she's piecing out. David's a horrible shot. Mrs. Bull Bullis. She gets out into the main lobby and now she's squaring off against David. And this is a, this is a Mars, boss Before battle. you go into the big climax, what do you guys yeah. think of the interrogation? That's what I want to ask. The, the oh, so then, yeah. The, Joel's interrogation. The, well, listen, exactly, it, it, was, it was very much I, similar yeah. to the game. It was honestly I to hear brutal. what you guys think on it. It quick. was brutal, and it was honestly, like, it, I thought, I mean, Joel, Joel in the game, if you watch a side-by-side, it was I, it was nearly identical to the difference between both of them. Um, I think the one in the one in the show, I thought, was probably a little bit more brutal than the one in the game. Like, to be honest with you, I think, um, I think Pedro Pascal did a great job of really showing more emotion, I think, in like the anger that he felt yeah. about this situation. Joel in the game was like, like you're all dead. You're all going to die. Basically. He had like yeah. the face on his, like whatever BS you're spewing me right now, like you're going to die anyway. It kind of like, you knew that Joel wasn't going to allow, like they did a great job in the games. Don't get me wrong. I thought that's thought Pedro Pascal did a better job of showing anger in this scene compared to what I saw in the game. I thought they did a great job with this part. Aki, so, what do you think, man? Yeah, I thought it was, I mean, we all knew from just what Joel talked to his brother about, you know, 
we all knew that he was a savage. You know that he had to <laughs> kill. They they both had to kill people yeah. to survive. But this was the most savage thing that he's done in the show yeah, so yeah. far, without a doubt. You know, jamming that knife in the guy's knee, telling him he's gonna pop his kneecap out, and then just cold blood stabbing him. And then just bludgeoning the other guy. Yeah, uh, I love the line right, right, right from the game. He's like, "I'm not telling you nothing." Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's it all was... right. I believe him, and just. And just but in the in the wow. game, in the game, he chokes him out, right? Yeah, so he chokes That's out the, the first he doesn't guy. Fight him, right? He doesn't. Yeah, no, no, he no, no, no. He, the first guy he chokes, he chokes him out. He doesn't stab him. Like the other dude's like, he takes a knife and then just stabs him in the stomach, and then is looking at the other dude while he's the other guy's bleeding out. That so that's why I was like, this was like he was more yeah. brutal in this one than the game. Yeah. The game kind of like he did the similar thing. He was choking the guy out while looking at the guy. Like all the guys, like yo, what are you doing? He's just like choking him out, and then he goes to the guy. He takes the same pipe and he's just like, yeah. yeah, I just I believe him, and then just knocks his, just beating <laughs> him to death basically. Um, yeah, but the only difference obviously between the games and and the the show was that basically the part you get to where Ellie is is squaring off with David, they cut to Joel's perspective, and then you got to go through the campment to get to where Ellie is. So you like Rambo. you're you basically got to go Rambo style. You got to yeah. go in the night. Yeah, I got a bunch at of night, which I honestly think at night would have been such a crazier. They should have kept it at night. I know they made it in the day. I was like, yeah. you should have made it at night. Have it the entire day. Is this entire episode? And at night, you should have ended it because even the cinematic of the place burning to the ground at night would have been like badass the way I, it was in the game, where like Joel is going through the night, ramboing people with the bow and arrow and the guns, getting to where Ellie is, and then at the very end, where now it's the boss fight between Ellie and David, and David's got some creepy ass stuff he says during that part when you play in the game. He says some creepy like pedo stuff during the game that part. Um and like and he saying, did in the show, no, he, he did, but like <laughs> yeah, in the game, because the thing in the game is that it's a longer sequence, so yeah. they start saying some wild boy stuff, like, "Oh, I can't wait to like eat you," like you're like, "What, like, what was yeah. that?" Like, like say what up? And and what? like it's 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 honestly like it's a brutal part where obviously the same ending happens where after a certain point where you're you you keep slicing up David and then you know you get David hit. Now the difference was. He's the cleaver in this one. The in the other one, it was a freaking machete. Yeah, was it was the awesome. it was a longer machete <laughs> and just sliced him, and then she just starts whacking, slicing his face until literally blood all over her, her face. Like, um, I think it was close to the amount of blood splatter that was on on Ellie and both of them. I think in the in the game she, they just made it like she was just straight up like cover. Yeah, like in the yeah. in the game, like it was probably more in the show it was probably a little more realistic, like. But like blood spatter. Well, but yeah, like, I mean, like we know, like, and this is the funny thing about yeah. show when they talk about realism, you know, there's obviously some things that are not real, right? Because like the place is burning, right? She throws the thing, it catches on fire. Both happens in the game too. And you're in a closed encampment and things are burning. You'd probably be dying from smoke. And, it's hot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're probably and you'd be dying from the smoke. Yeah. Like yeah. both characters would be probably passed out. But like the scenery, I thought was so cool. I, this is the, one of the coolest things. Even I, I agree with you at night would be even more badass. But even in the day, the the flame and you could see like David, the flame and like he's blacked when Ellie's looking at him, and like when she goes to attack him, they have that confrontation, and then at the end when Ellie is, you know, seeing red and she that's the character flip and the flames in the background, almost like in hell type of type of thing. I thought that was such a cool scenery. Yeah, no, and they did a good job with that. I think the gig, the big thing is that so when she finally gets outside after she just murdered David, Joel's there. And in the game, I thought they did a better job with this last part because Ellie just keeps going. She just keeps going after he's dead. And Joel has to grab her off of him. And she's like, get off of me. And then just, Joel's like, it's me. It's me. Like, And then that's how like they get her out of there. And then that's the last scene where it's like he's just holding her. It's like, it's okay. It's all right. I'm here now. I'm here. And it was like, that's how it ends with that mission. And similar to what happens here, like cause she's freaking out and she goes outside and Joel's there to get her. But like I just thought that, like, I thought at night would have been such a better cinematic, and I, I like the they both did a good job at it. I think the game, I like the game a little bit more at the end because I thought like she was seeing red, and she just kept stabbing him until yeah. Joel got, got like got her off. Like, no, it's over. We got him. We got him. Like all that stuff. Like, but I think they did a great job. Right. The key thing is, is that you have to understand that th this was such a traumatic moment for for Ellie that you're like, dude, this is. This is messed up. And if you know the story, you're like, dude, it's only going to get worse. Like, it's it's going to get worse. 
And that's where, you know, I that's why yeah. I was so big on Last of Us is a messed up story. Okay. It's a messed up story. And it will like that's what makes it so appealing is that it's like it'll, it'll make a man out of you, this, this story. You you gotta be you gotta be tough skin, man, because this this show, this this story is just brutal. Like you you as much as like Game of Thrones, like yeah, your favorite characters die and stuff like it's it's not necessarily like that to a high degree, but like not like there's so many characters that get whacked like, or anything. But people die like often, right? And it's like you gotta be used to like the you, know, you gotta be used to that stuff. You gotta be used to these like these stories that are like, all right, everything seems like it's going well, and then all of a sudden out of nowhere you're like, well, so David's a pedo and he's trying to eat people and uh, and yeah, so and that, there's that, us. and they're hunting us now. They're trying to kill us all. <laughs> like, oh, that's great. <laughs> Um, or like, oh yeah, David and uh, <laughs> Sam and Sam and Henry, hey, everything's great. Uh, all of a sudden, yeah, like, oh, partners, we're gonna have a nice, like, oh, we're gonna have a nice crew yeah, going. And both of <laughs> them die in the, in the <laughs> matter of five a minutes. A like, you're like suicide. Yeah, <laughs> you're just like, dude, like what? You know what I mean? Like that. That's what Last of Us does, though. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. I know what happens at the end. It's gonna get brutal. The last episode is gonna be brutal, and everyone's gonna be. I can't wait to see what. Are they going to be torn? There's going to no, be a torn I, audience. Oh, yeah. I know, but I, I no, I think this one will be a lot more like, damn, that's messed up. And people are going to be like... Yeah, they're going to be torn on what happens is what I'm trying to say. They're going like, to be feeling it. What was I, the right... Like, they're going to... Oh, gonna yeah. Feel, they're like, going to... Yeah. That that part, yes. I, yeah. I thought you meant torn, but like, they, they might not like it. I'm like, I, I think they're going to... People are going to well, be... they might not because they don't agree with what it is. But like, what, I mean, they if they not. don't, I'm like, just stay... Yeah. consistent just finish. Do. listen this episode yeah. proved proved to me that they realize like the main story is the best version right and so we can make some adjustments for what we can do without what what with what we have yeah it's fine but, but stay story, yeah. stay to the main story and people will love it like that's the point that i have or make this last episode the way the way that i that i played in the game and all the, i tell you people will freaking clamor for another season, obviously, another season and more episodes because of how good the story ends the way they do, right? I wouldn't be surprised if they copy. I wouldn't be surprised. No, be I, I don't either. I, 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 I think they've proven that they've been pretty damn loyal to the main plot line. Um, they've made obviously slight adjustments to certain characters and stuff, but the main characters of the main plot line have been pretty damn consistent. I, I imagine it, it goes into this last one, but uh, my fear is that this is this last episode is 50 minutes long, right? So um, pacing, which has always been an issue with throughout the season, I think they've done a solid job of pacing, but not a perfect job. And I think it's going to continue to rear its ugly head. So does yeah. 50 minutes mean that it's really... Runtime. With, with, well, does and that mean it's really 50-minute runtime. So that's with the preview and the yeah. credits. So it's really 40 minutes, 42 minutes. So it's going to be a short episode then, you know? Very short. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they just got to end it the right way overall. Yeah, I think the right they will. Way. It's just going to not be, you know, like it's going to come to the same problems that we've always had. Where like, I just want a little bit more, like, give me a little bit more. And that's how kind of the story has been. I just yeah. have a quick question. Yeah. Um, so at the end of this episode, you know, I'm sure you guys noticed it, but Joel called Ellie baby girl almost like, and they kind of explained it at the end, like almost like, like his daughter at that point, like you, you that bond yeah. thing, they did a full yeah. circle in, in the game. Was he, it said, he says that? Yes. No, he says the same thing. Yep, same, same thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. He says the same yeah, thing. The dialogue's the same, except like Mars Man said, one was inside and one was the outside. Yeah. And I do kind of understand why they went outside because, like I mentioned, the building's burning. Like you can't have this moment inside the burning building. But again, that's where it, you know, like it's it, not that realistic anyway. So you could have just done it, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for us, guys. What do you guys think about this episode? And I want you to tell me what you think in the comments below. If you haven't done so yet, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. We post videos like these every week, as well as we do a lot of other opinion pieces and reviews. Go check out the channel there. And join us on Twitch, where we stream at least two to three times a week. And join us on socials, all located in the description below. This is Marsman from Marsman Gaming signing off. Peace out, guys. <laughs>